everyone. Hey yo, what's up, what's up, what's up? This is Games for Days, and today I'm bringing you a tribute build to someone who brought me so much joy as a child. This Ravaging Ranger, this Radiant Ray of Rambunctiousness, this is Robbie Rotten. As most of you have heard, Mr. Stefan Carl Stephenson has passed away, and I've already made a meme tribute video, but I didn't think that was enough, so I skipped last week's build to work on this one. And that's the one I'm bringing you today. The Serial Killer will be coming out this Friday, but for now you've got this glorious grace to watch and play as. This build is the most powerful I've made, the most powerful build I've made to date. And that's because at the end of all the perks I got, and maxing all the stats to make him the most powerful person ever, like I think Mr. Stefan was, he is level 162 with over 30 perks below his belt. 35 to be exact. All maxed out. He goes around the wasteland with his laser rifle being able to one-shot everything in his path. And don't forget the timestamp links in the description just in case you want to skip over a section or come back for review information. And don't forget to check out my Instagram in the description. I did leak a sneak peek of this build like I do every other build. So go check me out down there. It's in the description. But now a not-so-lore-friendly backstory. Robbie wasn't a normal child with a normal life or a normal upbringing. No. He was born on a planet at the end of a solar system three billion light years away from Earth. He was the prince of a people, the Zadans, and the royal bloodline was blessed with power beyond imagination. The powers included extreme strength, perception, durability, and swiftness. Robbie spent most of his time at the Zadian library learning and honing his intelligence, and he spent his time at the local bar wooing the females of the culture. After the, cre after the king decreed, that the surrounding trillion light years of space be explored, Robbie was the first to sign up. He knew this meant he would lose his memory and get another one given to him, and he'd look different and feel different. He would have a chip implanted into him to look different and have another to mask his abilities. He still agreed. Whenever he arrived on Earth, he woke up on the side of the road and had no idea where he was. He could remember his name was Robbie and he was a veteran from the military. He wandered around and found a fresh change of clothes nearby, like somebody had left them for him. He put them on and went into town. He met a girl stumbling out of a bar, and he helped her up. She thanked him, and after getting a look at him, invited him back to her place. They had a crazy night, and in the morning she still wanted him there. They started dating and married. They had Sean, and they were plunged into the vault as the bombs dropped. As Robbie leaves the vault, one of the chips malfunctioned, but didn't quit straight away. He slowly gained his powers back, but remained looking the same. His memories were still not his, but nevertheless. He slowly regained his stats as well, but they aren't all that at the beginning. At the beginning of the game, Robbie's stats will all be four across the board. This doesn't matter much because they'll be all be 10 by the end of the game. If you need guides on how to get the bobblehead or the special book to put them into whatever stats you want, there's some in the description. Be sure to slowly increase your stats one by one. So, go strength, wait a couple levels, then perception, then endurance, and go like that. Don't do it all at once. This build does take a while. The perks I recommend but don't command for Robbie are Big Leagues, Armorer, Blacksmith, Strongback, Pickpocket, Locksmith, Demo Expert, Toughness, Life Giver, Chem Resistant, Aqua Boy, Rad Resistant, Adamantium Skeleton, Cannibal, Ghoulish, Solar Powered, Cap Collector, Lady Killer, Lone Wanderer, Local Leader, Party Boy, Medic, Gun Nut, Hacker, Scrapper, Science, Commando, Sneak, Quick Hands, Blitz, Fortune Finder, Scrounger, Bloody Mess, Mysterious Stranger, and Critical Banker. The reason for these is he's incredible and these make him that way. The gear our fallen friend wears is a whole slew of different things. He had an experience when his face changed back and he'd been afraid it'd happen again. So he's always in a different outfit and never wants to be seen in the same thing twice. He uses a pink auto laser rifle as his go-to weapon. Not much else. You can trust me. The DLCs are up to you, but in the main story, he'll go around and remember his military training and find the Brotherhood most preferable and choose to stick with them. 
Well, that's been the build. Thank you guys so much for watching. And please smash a like if you liked it. And comment what I should do after the serial killer. Go check out Mar McQueen's channel. Before Robbie comes out of his saucer to kill you with a stare. And check out my Insta for alien vets, serial killer feet, and a lot of panicking at the dance. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.